Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing any files or programs. We'll walk you through it step by step, so make sure to stick with us until the end if you want a smooth and seamless upgrade. And hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to support us in bringing you more helpful videos like this one. First things first, we need to check if your device is compatible with Windows 11. We'll do this by opening up Microsoft's PC Health Check. If you don't know where to find it, just search for it in the Start menu, it's super easy. Once you've opened the app, you'll see your device's specs like RAM, storage, and even the age of your device. Now all we need to do is click Check Now to see if our device meets the Windows 11 requirements. All right, so as you can see here, the app is telling us that the device doesn't currently meet the requirements for Windows 11. That might sound frustrating, but don't worry, let's go over why that's the case and what we can do about it. First, let's talk about TIM 2.0. You might be wondering, what exactly is TIM? Well, TIM, or Trusted Platform Module, is a security chip that's built into most modern devices. It helps to encrypt your data and secure your device. If TIM isn't enabled on your device, you can turn it on through your device's BIOS settings. The process may vary depending on your device, but typically you can enable TM by diving into the advanced settings in the BIOS. Next, let's discuss the processor. In our case, this device is powered by an Intel Core i5-5300U processor. Unfortunately, Microsoft has a specific list of processors that are officially supported for Windows 11. If your processor isn't on that list, you may not be able to officially upgrade. But don't worry, that's what this video is all about. We'll guide you through some alternatives and solutions so you can still get Windows 11 up and running on your device. To get started, you'll need the Windows 11 ISO file. While you can download it from various sources, I highly recommend using a tool that lets you download the official version below. Once you've downloaded the file, open it and give it a moment to load. Then, click Accept to agree to the terms. Choose the language you want and click Next. Here, select ISO file and click Next. Now, choose where you'd like to save the file and click Save. All we have to do now is wait for the file to download. The download speed depends on your internet connection. To save time, I've already downloaded the file, so we'll move directly to how to upgrade. After the download is complete, go to the download location. Select the file, then right click and choose mount. Next, go back to this PC and you will see the appearance of a DVD drive. Make sure to remember the letter assigned to this drive. In my case, it's the letter E. Now you can close everything. The next step is to go to the search bar and search for CMD. Make sure to run it as administrator. Then enter the drive letter, in my case E, followed by a colon, and press enter. Now enter D, I, R, and press enter. This will display all the files from the Windows package we downloaded. After that, type setup.exe space slash product space server and press enter. The installation file will open and we'll wait for the files to be prepared. Now the installation process will begin. Check this box, then click here and select not right now. After that, click next. We wait a little while for the system to verify that the device is capable of running Windows 11. Once that's done, click accept to agree to the terms. At this stage, you can choose the type of installation. If you wanna keep the settings and files on your device, choose the first option. The second option will keep your files, but delete the settings and the final option will delete everything, including files and settings. In my case, I will choose the first option, and after that, click Next. Now, all we have to do is click Install to start the installation process. Do not do anything until the installation is complete. After the installation is complete, the device will restart. You can enable these features, then click Next and log in. As you can see, the installation has been completed successfully. 
all our files are still there. So we've reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching and we'll meet again in a new video.